Hey YouTubers, it is Shinmaster X here. Now, I don't know if any of you have had that same problem I had with my iPod Touch, um, first generation. Um, I don't know if many of you know what the pink screen of death is, but it, I accidentally bricked my iPod the other day, and it gave me a pink screen that looks something like this. But with a, with a pink, it was this picture, but with a pink background around it. A bright pink background and it wouldn't let me get out of that pink background for shit so I was the, I spent the whole night trying to fix it and there are apparently no videos on YouTube that correctly show you how to get out of that mode so I figured it out and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today now First of all, a lot of people will tell you to do that trick where you have to hold the, the power button and the home button for like 15 seconds and it's bullshit because it doesn't work with the pink screen of death, the one that I had. What you got to do, first of all, you have to get your hands on the update that Apple had. You don't even have to downgrade it. You just have to get your hands on that update from from Apple, like that 3.0 update. All you all you have to do to get it out of that mode, once you have that update which you can download from any torrent site, it really works when you download it from a torrent cuz that's what I did. What you do is when you have that update version, go on iTunes like so hold on you go on iTunes you see that that's gonna pop up that and then what you gotta do is make sure your iPod is in DFU mode all you have to do to make sure that your iPod is in DFU mode is to unplug it from your computer and then what you have to do is hold down the home button the home hold it down the home button and then plug it back in and wait for it to turn on when you plug it in it, it will be in DFU mode once you have it in DFU mode a pop-up should say a pop-up should come up saying that you have an iPod in recovery mode. Don't worry about that. But just click OK. Once you have that in recovery mode, shift click, restore. Hold shift and click restore. And browse to the update where you have it at. Where did I put it? No, that's not it. You browse to the update pretty much and you select it. And it will it will it will unbrick your iPod. Roaming Apple computer iTunes and software updates. Okay, one thing to remember when you're doing this, make sure the update. Actually, no, no, no. You don't have to, just browse to it. Right here. And when you download the update, you have to make sure that the update has these numbers on it the 1.30 underscore 7A341 underscore restore if it doesn't say that and you try using it it will not unbrick your iPod you see the other one that I have there 7A200F 
I downloaded the wrong one. That's why it didn't work. So if it doesn't say 78341, it will not work. I repeat, it's not going to work, so don't even bother using it if it doesn't say that. So, once you have that done, select it, and pretty much you select it and click open, but I already unbricked my iPod, so I don't have to do that. Once you do this, though, it you, you go back to the black screen, which is this right here. If you don't go back to the black screen, it'll just send you back to the dashboard. But you will have successfully unbricked your iPod. But it'll be official 3.0. It won't be the um, jailbreak version. So essentially, if you jailbreak your iPod and you bricked it doing that, and you do this method, it'll unbrick your iPod, but it'll put it in the official firmware, not the, not the modded one. Not the jailbroken one. It'll put you on official firmware. So, yeah, pretty much that's it. You 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 should now have an unbricked iPod Touch. And I don't know if this is gonna work on the second gen, but if you're de if you were desperate like I was, can't hurt to try because you'll have nothing to lose. So, you know, it can't hurt to try this if you haven't done this on your second gen. So yeah.